Hello, Bitcoin Universe. It's the Bitcoin Miner here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Well, the question that I am asked the most is how much Bitcoin can I earn if I decide to start mining? How much does it cost? Uh, how fast will I get my money back? So, I decided to go ahead and see if we can't answer that question today uh, in this video. So, we're going to open up this calculator here. Uh, this is Corn Wars, excuse me, CoinWars.com. Uh, and I like their calculator. It seems to be very accurate. They do have a lot of advertisements, but it is what it is. Um, speaking of advertisement, I didn't actually do this on purpose. <laughs> the former congressman gets ready for financial martial law. Well, wow. Talk about uh, great timing to talk about Bitcoin. <laughs> well, well, here we go. This is a good way to invest. Anyways, that's not what the video is about. It's just dumb luck. So, right now, Bitcoin is worth $677.06. Uh, it is, we're going to go over here. Today's date. It is Monday, the 4th of July, 2016. There you go, guys. So we're going to go back to the calculator. So we're going to go ahead and put some numbers in this and start doing some calculations. So an Antminer S7 it produces this number right here, 4, 000, about just under 5,000 terahashes. So 4,730 is pretty accurate. Uh, the wattage used is about 1,300. That's pretty accurate as well. Uh, we're going to use 10 cents for the kilowatt cost. Uh, the block reward, we're going to leave that at 25 for right now. Here's the Bitcoin difficulty, uh, which is also going to be changing soon. Uh, it actually changes every two weeks, just to explain that. This is the dollar amount, and this is your hardware cost. So for now, we're going to run through a lot of scenarios and try to help uh, give you some, maybe help cover your bases, so give you guys a good broad idea of uh, if this is going to be a profitable or good idea for you. So one amp miner S7 uh, costs about, let's just put in here $600. I don't even think they're that much. Let's put $500. And click calculate. And we'll scroll down here just a little bit. So one amp miner S7 has the capability or the odds of generating a one block, like let's say you want to go solo mining, you don't do, you didn't uh, join a pool. Uh, this video, let's just say that you know the basics, so you know what a pool is and you know what solo mining is. Um, a solo mining, it would take you 2,200 and some days. That's uh, a lot of years. <laughs> um, so, and then you have to generate days. To, okay, so every 88 days, you can generate one Bitcoin. That's actually not bad. So in a hundred days you can get your money back from your hardware cost. Actually that's not bad at all. In about three months. Um, so hourly is not so important. Daily, let's look at weekly. So you can get almost one-tenth or one-eighth of a Bitcoin every week. And you would get uh, about 34% of a Bitcoin every month. So yeah, you would get a Bitcoin about every three months uh, with one Ant Miner S7. Now you have to keep in mind that this is the current difficulty, the uh, current block exchange uh, rate of 25, and this price uh, with the hardware cost. So now we're going to change this and go look at an Ant Miner S9 which will produce about, let's just say, 12,000, let's put another zero in here, okay, and it actually is the exact same uh, wattage, relatively, uh, we'll leave the power cost the same, everything else the same, we're going to go ahead and click calculate, oh, we're going to change the hardware cost to about, uh, we'll just go ahead and put 1,900 in for now, calculate. Okay, so let's scroll down. So as you can tell, you can get a block 
much quicker with this machine. It's a lot more powerful, 846 days, but still not worth solo mining in my opinion. I think you're better off to go uh, with pools. So using a pool system, you can actually generate one BTC almost every month. Uh, you'll break even in just a few more days. So this machine is very powerful. Um, you can actually, it's almost three times, yeah, less than three times as powerful as the Antminer S7. But you're saving a lot of money in power cost for the same amount of power. Does this give us the power? No, not that I see. Pool cost, yeah, here we go, power cost. Um, so every month is going to cost you 93 for versus, let's go back one or two, excuse me. So yeah, you're only going to produce, um, for right now, it's prices, which don't matter too much, $231 for $93 uh, for power costs. If we go back to the S9, see you're going to have the potential producing 600 for $93. So it, it's a drastic difference. Um, the S9 really, really are, seems to be worth it now that I'm looking at this calculator with you guys. But there's a lot more to this. Uh, so now let's look. This is only at this point in time. Our difficulty is going to change every two weeks, as I mentioned earlier, and this blocking, the block having is going to go in half. So we're only going to get the reward. It's going to go to 12.5. Uh, that's going to happen July 9th. Um, but at the same time, when that happens, relatively, this part, the value should go up. So it should wash each other out. If not, we should see a spike here uh, coming up soon. So now let's go over here to... BitcoinWisdom.com, and we're going to look at the estimated difficulty of the block. And what you're looking at is this green line right here. Uh, as you can see, every two weeks, which is about to hit here in 20 hours, um, the difficulty will jump to that green line. We're expecting a 1.5% increase. So let's take this number, copy it come back over here oops, and see what an Antminer S9 will do with the new difficulty. Okay, so yeah, the difficulty changed it a little bit. It's definitely down. It's, Backspace just a little bit. Go forward 112 days to break even. 114 days. So it added about two extra days by adding the difficulty. Now you have to remember that's going to happen every two weeks. Now, this is also going to happen. But again, this dollar amount should go up when that happens. So let's just say that this goes to twice as much. 1200 which reality it should be able to, even with, with the halving. Okay, so even with the halving coming up and the Bitcoin uh, difficulty changing, you can still get your return on money in 122 days, 23 days. Um, wow, it's just, those machines are really powerful, actually. Um, so in theory, one machine... Will over excuse me the next thirty excuse yeah the next thirty days will produce five hundred and fifty dollars for you minus hundred dollars for power your profit is going to be four hundred and sixty dollars it is going to take you um, again one hundred twenty three days to get your money back on this but uh, we need to keep changing difficulty every two weeks uh, up oh let's go back to this chart, um, you know, sometimes it can jump higher, as you can see. Uh, so it can maybe go up 3%. Um, so, yeah, let's just say, let's play it safe. Let's say 150 days to get your money back. So now let's convert this back over 
to an F minor F7. Four seven, same power wattage. We'll leave this. Hardware costs can go to five hundred because they're much cheaper. Okay. So yeah, I don't remember the exact days, but it's about the same, 2,200 and something, 124 days. Um, so they're really about the same break-even point uh, for the Amp Miner S9 versus the Amp Miner S7. Um, it's, a, I guess, really at this point, it's a matter of how much money you want to put into it. Do you want to put $500 into it? Do you want to put $2,000 into it? Uh, I mean, then, but then again... We're also banking on this number uh, doubling what you know today's rate is. So, in theory, you have supply and demand. If you ask me, in my personal opinion, is if you cut the supply in half, the value is going to easily double, if not go up triple. Uh, that's just simple uh, mathematics to me. But you know, again, I can't guarantee anything. This is just totally, you know my personal opinion but I do feel that this could be the price so I do believe it is still uh, sustainable to get into Bitcoin mining right now even with the halving going on even with the difficulty going on and hopefully this guys this will give you a good uh, example of how this uh, calculator works and, and you know we can even tune this a lot more for each individual and we'll start showing you how to do so so the first thing that you're really going to want to do to tune this for yourself, and is it going to be profitable, is find your state. We got to figure out how much kilowatt, or how much you're going to pay uh, per kilowatt. This is just the average. You may be in a bubble. You may pay a little bit more somewhere. You really need to research your exact area uh, to be uh, to get this exactly. But this is going to give you a relative idea of what the average is in your state. Uh, and this website, uh, hopefully you guys can get all this from the screen capture. I can also put the links down at the bottom. Uh, but this is neo.ne.gov. Uh, again, I'll put the links down at the bottom. But uh, So if you live in any one of these states right here, you guys should strongly think about Bitcoin mining. You've got really, really cheap power. Uh, you know, I personally live in North Carolina. Which is 9.3, which is not bad. I, you know, I'm not complaining either. Um, so again, make sure to check this list out, guys. Uh, I'll scroll it for the videos so that you can look. Hawaii's power is very expensive. Alaska, of course, Connecticut. I'm not sure why Connecticut's up there. Rhode Island. But anyhow, um, here you go. These are the average power costs per kilowatt. So pick your state. Take this number. Put it in here. So let's just say North Carolina, I was actually uh, 0.93, I think it was. Yeah, 0.9, excuse me. Yeah, this is cents per kilowatt. So you're actually only going to pay 0 0.93. They even get into like the micro decimals here, but whatever. Uh, oh, they only go to two decimals. Okay, well, the calculator doesn't do that. You only need the 0.9, but still. So you can see it lowered my power cost from closer to 100 to 87. So it makes a big difference on you know how much you actually pay for power, because you have to remember you're drawing this 24 hours a day. Both machines use about the same wattage. Pool fees. Um, okay, here, we'll use FT pool. What their fees an example? They use 3%. To me, I, I don't, uh, I think 3% is pretty high. I, I don't use this pool, but I use other pools. You can check out my other videos, and we can go into that later on and see what pools I personally use. Um, but let's just go ahead and put 3% in here. See what kind of difference it makes. Yeah, see, nothing. It's chump change. All right. 
Now, we've I've showed you guys how to put the power in. Um, I showed you the Bitcoin difficulty. We've showed you how to change the block reward because we know this is coming up very soon. Um, and I do truly believe we'll see when we go back and look at this video a couple months from now that I think this is probably going to be a, a good settled down number area. Uh, I do think we could hit 2,000. I think we can settle around you know 1,000, low 1,000, 1,200 range. Um, and I think it will slowly creep from there uh, as it balances out. But I think the true value should be closer to 2000 Again, personal opinion. All right, guys. Let's move on to the next part. So I wanted to also show you um, this. Just to show you why I don't like the F2 pools much. This is what you should be getting paid per kilowatt well excuse me actually I'm not 100% sure about the exact uh, this is milliwatt how this breaks down I think this is yeah per terawatt or excuse me tera hash um, is two is point zero zero two four zero one. so if we go over here and look at F2 pool they actually will pay you where is it here it is, right here, 0 .0023. So, as you can tell, you're actually getting paid less than what you really should be already just by mining with them. If you use them with some of the other pools, um, you really need to do your homework on this. But there's better pools out there uh, where you can actually get more than this for it. Uh, all right, guys, I think I rambled on a lot at the end, and I hope I helped explain to you what you know how much you can make. And, you know how you can actually do this and grow. Uh, you can grow. You know you can have several ant miner S nines. You could have um, several ant miner S sevens. But hopefully this gives you a good explanation. See you guys. Talk to you later on. Bye.